Okay, so it's the holiday season and we got this weird Coke. And today we're gonna have the first look at the Benchmade Nakamura Saibu. Let's get it. On guys welcome back to everyday minimalist my name is brandon and today we are going to be looking at the brand new benchmade 486-201 gold class saibu if you're new here and you enjoy knife and edc content feel free to hit that subscribe button ring that bell icon so you know when that next video is live i post about a video or two every single week so there's going to be plenty of content for you so let's go ahead and jump in to the nakamara saibu gold class version so guys this just released today and i'm super hyped to have this in my hands thank you so much to blade ops for letting me check this out if you're looking to purchase a knife go to bladeops.com i will leave a link in the description below they are my go-to retailer and they have a ton of products available so here is the gold class box this thing is just really big in comparison to like the black class or blue class boxes that you get from benchmade this is gonna say i think it's saibu or saibu Saibu Saibu, but we've got number 120. So this is very interesting. Let's go ahead and pull this off here. So here's the lid. And then you're greeted with this awesome certificate of authenticity. Let's go ahead and get this out. And then on the inside, it will kind of give you the specs and details, what month it was made in, and then also the number. This is the 486-201, so the Saibu. It's got the rose pattern damascus steel blade, smoke gray chromium nitride coated liners, stop pin and clip, ivory G10 handles, red G10 inlay, 24 karat gold plated backspacer, lock stud, pivot, screws, and thumb lugs. Thumb lugs inlaid with red G10 genuine access lock mechanism, Saichi Nakamura design. Knife number 120, produced October 30th of 2020. And then you've got this really cool embossed I guess the uh, gold stamp there. So guys, this is a very, very special knife. There's only 250 of these made and it's an honor to actually check one of these out. This is the first gold class knife on the channel. So within the box, you'll be greeted with kind of like the access lock um, label that they include. And then of course, the signature Benchmade manual. So you've got this super nice black show box or display case for this knife. I've never had a Benchmade knife where it comes with this type of display case, and this is only included in the gold class. And if we open this guy up, you will be greeted with a gold microfiber cloth from Benchmade. So the lettering on there is gold. And there is our Saibu or Saibu. I'm going to say that wrong every single time. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's Saibu. So here it is, guys. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. Just check out the 24 karat gold plated hardware, which is absolutely insane. You've got this pocket clip, which resembles the mini deep carry pocket clip that comes with the bug out. You've got ivory G10 with red G10 inlays, which I, I wish they kind of went with like a wood with this, but it still looks absolutely phenomenal. And as you can tell, there's some holes here in these scales and you can see that really nice damascus steel in there. The backspacer is also 24 karat gold plated. Here is the blade. So again, this is damascus steel. I don't have a ton of experience with damascus steel um, and this is not a user type of knife. Um, the type of person that would be getting this is a collector, right? A huge Benchmade fan. And if you have 750 bucks to $800 to drop on one, I mean, that's the type of person that is purchasing this amazing knife. This is gonna be a rose pattern type of Damascus and it just looks beautiful. They did put a Benchmade logo there and then on the other side, you'll be able to see the Nakamura logo as well as the number of knife. So it is a really beautiful thing to have just in my hands at the moment. I'm gonna be super careful with it. Um, this is not a full review. This is just the first look. So in terms of elegance, this thing is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, the thumb studs just down to the detail. Just check out that 24 karat gold plated thumb stud 
with a red G10 inlay. It is a beautiful knife. It's operating off of the axis lock. You know, you're paying $750 for this thing. So it's gonna really appeal to collectors. And to give you guys a quick size comparison, here is the Saibu next to the Civivi Elementum. The Elementum is actually a little bit longer in terms of length with this guy. Overall width, it's gonna be a little bit thicker. And then in terms of the closed length, the Civivi is about a quarter of an inch longer than the Saibu. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be adding this to my collection. Blade just got one of these in stock and this is it right here. I don't own any knife that is made with Damascus, which is pretty interesting. And although it's very expensive, it might be worth it. So you guys should let me know in the comments below if I should pick up this knife or if it's just overpriced or if it's super sexy and it's very collectible. I don't know much about the gold class series. But there you guys go, the Benchmade Nakamura Saibu. Um, I know I kept this one super short, guys, so I really appreciate you spending the time today. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead, throw me a thumbs up. If you disliked it, throw me a thumbs down, and I promise to you, I will do better next time. If you have a suggestion on the next knife I should review, let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for dropping by. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.